I don't understand why Megan isn't in prison. She has done a lot of crime. It makes no sense that she is free to do more bad things. Recently on Twitter, a trademark application with the trademark Sussex Royal has been leaked, according to the source. This is the application that Meghan and Harry surreptitiously used to exploit the royal title but was discovered by the Queen. They were banned soon after. Back to 2020, official records show Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have come up with a way to make Megxit pay, by trademarking their Sussex Royal brand for more than 100 items. More than 100 items records with the UK's intellectual property offers show that in June 2019, the couple made moves to prep a possible financial empire before they insisted that they become financially independent. Once free of their royal responsibilities in 2020, under both Sussex Royal and the charitable organization the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the couple secured trademarks with a wide cross-section of possible products, including clothing, stationery, photographs, educational and charitable endeavors, and even possibly their own newspaper or magazine. It placed the Queen in an invidious position given her long-held conviction of refusing to allow working members of the family to profit from their positions. Source said that when the Qualities got information from MI5, they immediately stopped the heart calls. It wasn't a discussion, they were flat out told no, you can't do it. It must have been forceful because stopped immediately. They released a snarky comment over it. Look at the tacky thing they were going to put HRH on, but they won't be able to use the Sussex Royal name as they'd hoped. They always planned to make an exit, so they set up Sussex Royal to have the Sussexes always connected to royalty, even when they lived overseas, and to make money off the merchant Archula was just plan B. What I found most shocking is that Harry and Meghan never sought permission to use the word royal. Meghan famously declared that the Queen didn't own the word, but in these circumstances, she most definitely did. Permission has to be obtained from the cabinet office before the word royal can be used in any shape or form. Looks like they plowed ahead with their plans without consulting anyone. This stresses more than anything that the money-grubbing Meg had absolutely zero comprehension of what royal titles stood for, zero understanding of royal and British history, and couldn't care less. Now as well as giving up the HRH titles for work purposes and abandoning official appointments and patronages, including Harry's military roles, the Sussex royal brand will have to be abandoned. The Duke of Sussex, who stepped down from senior royal responsibilities in 2020, was spotted leaving a gym in Santa Barbara, California, amid claims his wife is working on a rebrand. There were clear signs of a professional separation when WME announced that they were only signing Meghan Markle. Kinsey Schofield of the Diddy for Daily podcast told Fox News Digital. Then the Heart of Invictus trailer was released, and we discovered that Prince Harry was the executive producer, without Meghan. Schofield noted that people will continue to sour toward her as she chases the spotlight, unlike Harry, who according to Schofield, seems committed more than ever to his charitable efforts. Schofield says she believes if Meghan strays too far from Harry, people's hearts might soften towards Harry especially with all the recent charity work we've seen him do, solo, plus Heart of Invictus.